Welcome to Cinema in St. Louis, a look at the River City's film history. Today we take a quick peek into the Great St. Louis Bank Robbery, a 1959 film starring the rising young actor Steve McQueen. Today we will revisit this historic event as it happened, while using visuals from the film it inspired, along with some photos from the actual day. St. Louis woke up to a beautiful Thursday morning on April the 23rd, 1953. Dwight D. Eisenhower was just sworn in as the 34th president. The 25th Academy Awards had just been broadcast on television for the very first time. And the first James Bond novel, Casino Royale, had just been published by author Ian Fleming in the United Kingdom. Life seemed to go on like any other day in the River City. But for a few at the Southwest Bank on the edge of the hill neighborhood, it would be quite a day to remember. They would bear witness to one of the most infamous bank robberies in American history. At 10.19 a.m., with a getaway driver waiting eagerly outside, three masked men barreled into the bank with plans for quick riches. Fred Bowerman, the ringleader and veteran outlaw who boasted a 30-year career criminal history and a spot on the FBI's top most wanted list, barged into the bank with a shotgun and loudly proclaimed, this is a holdup. Everyone stand still. The frightened tellers and customers innocently looking to cash their payday checks fell to the floor, following the orders of the brazen criminals as to not end up on the wrong end of a gun. A brave teller triggered her foot alarm as the heist went on. The crooks snatched up roughly $140,000, worth almost $1.4 million in today's clams. They thought they were in for a quick getaway, but much to their chagrin, the police were right around the corner. Officer Mel Bernstein and Corporal Robert Heights were just two blocks away when they received a call and were on the scene in a flash. Corporal Heights stormed the front door and a flurry of gunfire followed. He was knocked back and incapacitated by a shotgun blast from Bowerman. Officer Stein quickly drug him to safety and took shelter himself. Oh, what a mess our boys got themselves into. A great pandemonium broke out inside of the establishment as gunfire rang in and out of the building. In the chaos, the cowardly getaway driver escaped the scene without his payday or his partners. He would be later caught. Robber Frank Vito, facing a life sentence if caught, put a pistol to his head to make sure he would not be caught alive. Bowerman's goose was cooked, but he wouldn't go down without a fight. With his remaining gunman injured in the shootout, he grabbed a hostage a poor woman by the name of Eva Hamilton. He slowly pushed her out the front door as he faced a small army of St. Louis police outside. As he exited the building, he did not notice our hero, Officer Stein, taking cover around the corner from the door. He squeezed off two rounds into Bowerman, knocking him on the ground and freeing the young woman. Bowerman would later die in a city hospital a few days later. The remaining robber surrendered and the police began cleaning up the scene and everyone gave a sigh of relief that the commotion was finally over. The one surviving gunman, William Scholl, and getaway driver Glenn Chernick would both be sentenced to 25 years in prison for their part in the heist. Corporal Heights survived but would never fully recover from his injuries, but thankfully no other bystanders were seriously injured. And by the end of the day, the bank registered more money than they had before the robbery. I suppose the crooks were kind enough to leave some of their own money for everyone's trouble. A few years later, director Charles Guggenheim filmed an exciting picture based on the famous heist, which was filmed at many of the real-world locations from the actual event, including Tower Grove Park, where Bowerman and his crew planned the heist. Guggenheim staged the scene at the beautiful and historic Sons of Rest Pavilion, which stands just as strong as it did when it was erected in 1872. And of course, the great action scene of the film was shot at the very same Southwest Bank as the actual heist. The film also used some of the actual bank employees and policemen that were involved in the heist, including the hero of the day, Officer Stein. The film provides a great window into the past at this exciting and dramatic moment in St. Louis history. Well, there you have it, folks. A look at a harrowing story of St. Louis history and the film it inspired. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of cinema in St. Louis!